you on it. This year actually hasn't been a great year for my bees. I really don't know why. Probably because we're kind of having a drought right now. So I think that might be the problem. There's quite a few on those. Yeah. Let me get a close up of those. We just picked about two days ago, so they're really starting to kind of come on now. Probably the best day I've gotten out of this booth. Still not the best one, but hopefully the battery lasts long enough for you guys to see Bohemus. It's the bush I got over there, and the berries get a lot, lot bigger. And uh, but it's also really, really hard to get to. So even if the battery was going, I don't know that I could honestly get the camera down in there. I'm gonna have to climb down. Get it. And just what are you going to make with these? Well, I will make some, I don't know if it's, ow, got me, um, blackberry jam or compost, or I don't know, really know what you call it. I call it blackberry jam. Um, and then some of them I'll just freeze so that we can have cobbler whenever we want. Um, some people eat blackberry pies, but I'm not a pie maker, so cobbler's gonna work for us. It's a whole lot easier to just dump everything in there and let it cook. So this one is part of Behemoth. Um, this is actually the easy part to get to. But Behemoth part that I can get to is here. There's a little part of him over there and then a little part down. There's a hole right over there that I have to actually climb down into. So yeah. Behemoth usually gives me pretty good yield. And I don't have to take care of him at all. He just out here just working away. Making me black babies. That's a bunch of blackberries. Yep. I tell you what, there's a lot down in there. A lot more than what you can think of. I don't know if you can really see them on this. As many as there is actually in there. I can get a, see if I can get a close up of them. Ooh, she brought my mosquito stuff. Got out here a little late, but the mosquitoes are already up in row one. And they don't like me out here. Mm -mm. Actually, I think they do like me out here. <laughs> they are feasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, the blackberries that come off this one are huge. And these aren't even really that big, like, because 
they're wild, so I don't know, for some reason the wild ones don't usually get quite as big as ones that you've, like, taken care of. Mm -hmm. So I honestly don't know if bringing the wild ones up, if me tending them will actually yield bigger fruit or not. But at the very least, I won't be having to climb down in all of this. I mean, let's be real. I'm still going to come out here and get the wild ones too, so. <laughs> it's not really going to matter, is it? Well, <laughs> there'll be some that'll be hmm. easier to get. How's that? Yeah, as I was say, because you will be out here picking <laughs> them. I know you will. I can't just let them go to waste. I mean, I guess they wouldn't go to waste. They'd be feeding critters, but they'd rather be feeding me. trick on YouTube and I've frozen them before like just like this pulled them out you know rinsed them out got them cleaned up and everything and then just threw them in a bag and it just really didn't work very well because it ended up in one great big giant clump which is fine if you're doing like jellies or something like that but for like the cobblers and stuff that didn't work out so well so, I saw this great idea. Let's just use the uh, wax paper, parchment paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, and just put the berries on there. Oh, I'm just gonna spread them out. That's it, and pop them in the freezer.